Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another deck profile. Today we're here with the first place winner, Seraphim, from the Card of Magica event. Seraphim, how's it going, man? Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Thank you for having me here. No problem, man. My pleasure. So you played Gohan Icarus, which is one of my favorite decks of all time. Uh, what yeah, made what made you want to play it? Well, I used to play Mega Freezer, and I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. And once you get banned, you know, I was sad about it and I tried other different colors. But I don't like the results and I'm not really enjoying play like blue and green. So I hop back to yellow and try to see if it, you know, give me the good feelings about it. And first time when I tried it, it's not this belt and I feel a little bit clunky. But then I give it another try on other cards and it feels great. I mean, but that is really good. Very nice. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think this is a deck that a lot of Mecha Frieza players will like. It's it's not as free, but it, but it is very similar. I agree. Um, yeah. All right, so let's see the deck. Okay, so um, the leader I play is Icarus. Senko Han, that's how I call it. So on the front side, it's really simple. You swing and then um, you draw a card and take a life. I think it's pretty good because you actually could able to draw the card first before you take a life so you could actually see the card you draw before you actually decide to get another card from the life it's better than you draw, uh, take a life and then draw one right and then when you have four or less then you just draw two awakens and then on the awaken side uh you have to activate main i mean activate main and activate battle the activate main is you could um draw one card and then play up to one skillless of the drop and then the, the other one is Activate battle. If you have a monster card in the combo area, you could able to draw one. I think on the front, on the back side, you actually have a better advantage than Mega Freezer in some point because you don't actually have to swing to draw, which sometimes give you a good advantage. Especially like um, there are death play floodgates. If you swing with your battle card and then they use the gate to stop you for a turn, you're still able to draw one. You don't have to swing. So you always have a plus on the turn and essentially draw two on your turn, potentially, then draw one on opponent's turn, which actually could be drawing more than Mega Freezer in, at some point. Yeah, absolutely. This deck draws a crazy number of cards and, and like yeah. Mega Freezer needed to draw Universe 9 Assemble. This deck just mm -hmm. needs to draw the skillless card you're about to show us, uh, but you don't even need it on turn one, which is like the really nice thing about it. Yeah, and then on the on the turn that you awaken, you normally could draw insane amount of cards because you attack, draw one, awaken, draw two, combo one, draw one, and then use active main, draw another one. So you basically have high cards draw and then also have a body on board as well. Yeah, so it's insane. really good. And then going to the deck, I only play four dragons skillless and two of the three drop dragon of dropbox six uh this card is pretty good uh, especially on the turn before i actually awakened i could um combo with it and then pay, uh, play two skillless of the deck so if i don't see it on the turn that i awaken or before i awaken i could always have this one combo and then have this ready for the turn i awaken so make sure I'm able to continue drawing cards after I awaken. Yeah, I, I, I used to play that one in my earlier build. Do you think you would still keep playing two copies of it? I might cut it down to one. It depends on if I go best of one or best of three. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a chance I don't see the skillless. And if I don't see it really neck. So right, right. I want to see it as always as possible. Sometimes if I could modicum one, I always keep one on hand. Just make sure I have it. And then going to the super combo, I choose is Krillin. So, I mean, the best draws a lot, but I mean, drawing more is always better. Mm -hmm. And there are cards sometimes is that in my hand. But with this, I could always find them that the cards that is not essential for the moment that I want to push in or defense. So it's always a good card, a good combo and filter. Yeah, I don't I don't think Zamasu is super important in this format. And like you said, when you're attacking and trying to put pressure on, the, the draw super combos are much better. Yeah. And then going to more uh I still play three basils. It's the same number I play when I use Mega Freezer. 
Nate's still good, even with other units assemble, especially on the turn that you want to go in. Um, my normal Q turn is turn four to five, so I will have enough energy to pay one, draw one, get to main swing once, and then combo it, pay another one, and then pin it. So it still do some crazy amount of time with this card. It's always good to keep three, two. Sometimes you don't see it. Four is like too many. Mm -hmm. I think three is a good numbers. And then going to a more good yellow cards in general. Uh, the Bada Apes. I just um, good low card, but still good at this format after like what two years. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, there are other people play the. Uh, Enjoy 18 and 17, I believe. Yeah, demonic duo. A, yep. Yeah, it has a D flat, but it, it this doesn't have D flat. But on the other hand, I couldn't able to untap if you um when I show up later in the profile, I could able to untap myself on offense and defense. So if they got seal in it, it's like a good card that I could pay their hunter play, so right. I could actually use it for later on. If they don't, I could draw a card and tap something else so it's a really good part i think it's better still better than the angel 17 and 80 even that card has d flat because it give me it replaces so i so i don't lose my hand when i combo it yeah i i agree yep and then of course one bagamo um because i only able to play one uh but i didn't actually use this one the whole tournament uh on the regional but it's always good to have, so I always keep it inside my deck. And then I play two slu uh, North Slugs, the three drops. This card actually is really good. It's actually better than I thought. Especially sometimes you could like, hard counter on some of the deck. Uh, one of the um, player I, opponent I have is played the uh, Black Gogeta from set seven. So this card actually is stop the whole engine of that card of that deck because um, the Union Fusion Gogeta it allow you to draw two to actually fusion. So with this card on board, you can even fusion into the five draw into the six draw. Oh so yeah. This actually shut down the whole engine set. And I believe there are some other engine as well. You could shut it down, and it has a barrier. So against blue, it's always good as well. You don't have to worry bottom deck by margin blue or bottom deck by bojack so area car is always good i think it's still really good in this format so so, so you but, definitely don't yeah. mind casting it for three yeah because like i said i, I usually kill turn is turn four and five mm -hmm. so turn four i will put this on if i don't kill i would just have it and defense it it's better to defense a 20k than a 15k so right so if they attack into it, actually, like, it's more better for me. So yeah. And then into the multicolor uh, package, I have I have four Zumasu, four uh, for hit, and then also uh, seven common rush project. So this is only twelve cards I have for the multicolors. I think that's good enough. Uh, normally, I would charge any of this, but not the. Uh, I try to avoid charging Sumasu because this card is just so good. Right. Um, if no one, uh, if people don't know what it does, it has a counter play, uh, and then it has uh, play this card, and then any card include unison play four or less, it go back to their hand, and it has an auto when you play to rest a card, then draw your card. So you replace it out, you stop a play. And then it's indestructible and sometimes it's actually relevant because um, North Slug uh, needs spawn to to have the effect the permanent goes off. So with this on board, which is hard to clear, so I also have spawn to with these two cards. Right, right. And I prefer this uh, um, other than the, um, the new Bojack that came out uh, from the expansion pack. Yep, pinpoint onslaught, yep. Yeah, the reason is, well, this card actually have an on-play auto that actually really clutch for this event. So, he has an auto that says, when you play this card, you could choose one card off your opponent's battlefield and bottom that it. 
So on my final against the self search, he played the five job margin blue from the new set that uh, when it's in rest mode, gets a revenge and you cannot swing to the leader mm -hmm. unless you bottom uh, unless you discard two cards. And my hand only have three cards on my hand, include this. So I can and I have no battle card on board because he played the five job play the whole thing. So with this, I could hard cast it. Actually, bottom that the boat, the margin blue, so I could swing with leader into the game. So this actually came came in clutch. Very cool. Yeah, that, that is a very slept down effect, definitely. Yeah, and Bocha is just as good as always. Yep. Um, sometimes I don't see the pieces to actually uh, ache, um, to use the effect to um, draw one and tap two, but I think it's fine because uh, my deck play a lot of 5k combos. Uh, defense wise is good enough as yellow so that's okay i only played it like once or twice uh on this whole tournament but every time i play as long as i could resolve the effect once i think that's good enough for mm -hmm. the value and then for sense being of course that just of course yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then uh put in the case i play three of the Freeza, three drop Freeza, and then uh, three, uh, the power of a Super Sense. I think four will be good, but I don't have the room, so I just play three. I don't want to have too many extra cards in the deck, because I want to have as many combo power as possible. Right. So that's the, this to save me a lot of games, and this is always good to have. And it's actually a chance people actually forget this actually on the gate other than use the effect of the activate battle so it's a really good card to have right and i run uh another I believe this is the only yeah the last oh just one more yeah i just jump into it but this should be the last piece of extra card i run so one crusher ball and three um Final Flash. Crusher Ball, interesting. So, so do you like Crusher Ball over Giant Ball for some reason? Yeah, because um, I'm afraid of Sin Shaman sometimes. Uh, with the control variant of the Sin, it's easy to get to turn six. So with Crusher Ball, I could, uh, I could rest all the cards he played with the leader paying six energies. And then the crap back, I could able to kill him. Uh, Giant Ball is good, but only resting one card, so I think this is a much better choice. And lots of my deck already replacing itself by drawing a lot, so mm -hmm. off just one is fine. I see. Yeah. And then Final Flash is always good. Actually, three I think is a good number. Two, sometimes I don't see it. Um, again, Soul Striker actually is really good because of the, the seven job Goku. That when you swing, you cannot able to combo. Mm -hmm. but actually, with Final Flash, I could able to negate skill, and then I just could able to combo out of the attack. So right, really clutch. Yeah. And then Unison was my choice is the three drop FS Trunks. Yeah, how did this card do for you? Actually, I prefer this of Vegeta. It's because of the minus three effect. Uh, because the because with this Masu, I feel like I could control the board really strong already. Because with the Masu, first four turns, I could almost stop almost every card they play. Even I cannot stop it, I could able to rest it for that turn. Able to go in. So, it's just okay. I don't know if I want to keep this or play the Vegeta. So... I have to think about it. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually, I don't know. I still really like the Vegeta because I think the Vegeta gives you a nice win condition. Uh, the minus three, obviously, you know, tap energy, dual attack, double strike. But I do like Trunks a lot for the board removal. Like, in, in best of three, I'd probably side the Trunks for sure. Um, yes. But yeah, I think it's a little bit of preference. But the plus zero sometimes is really good as well because it could negate skill. Turn the battle card in Rasma and KO it. So it actually could create this Masu blockers or even 
We are going to green margin blue. I could able to clean their four job as well with the plus zero effect. Mm -hmm. So it could be really good, but I didn't go into any margin blue uh, this tournament, so haven't really tested. Gotcha. And for overround choices, I have one and one. So definitely everybody know what it does. Yeah, definitely good. And sport. yeah, so in the future, I will always keep this ratio. You wanna play a different deck because. Um, yes, yeah, it just serves different purposes. Yep. Um, this card just really good, especially if you have like two beans on your hand and then also two basil. <laughs> this card just ridiculously good. And then uh, these are all the one-off. I have one three drop uh, Goku, and then three uh, a cooler Champa, and then my secret choice is. Hi. Yeah, I think Kai is the best secret in this deck just because it gives you that board wipe, helps you deal with unisons, stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, after after all going through the deck, I appreciate you spending the time with us. Uh, any changes you think you would make? Um, I really do might consider the unison mm -hmm. uh, choices. Uh, other than that, I think that that is still really solid. So maybe not too many ch uh, changes. I might cut down the deck a little bit. I replace maybe I re will replace him one of the high jargons. But other than that, I think that that is served for all the purpose. How many cards in the main deck? I think it's fifty-two. Fifty-two. Okay, gotcha. Well, uh, Seraphim, again, I really do appreciate the time. Uh, any shout outs you want to throw out there? Um, shout out to you, Joey, and shout out to uh, Giancarlo because you two are the one that actually taught with the. I read Jargon. I actually saw your profile a while ago and then showed Giancarlo's profile and actually gave me a lot of tips. And then shout out to Cutter Magic for the, the event. Really good. And shout out to my local Psycho Turtle Electable. Really good tournament over there. And then two places to go. Awesome, man. I'm very happy to help. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time. Thank you.